Hi YouTube, in this uh, segment I'm going to start working on the frame, I'm going to cut it, um, I'm going to run it through the planer and go ahead and use the router and create a decorative edge. Well, I'm going to trim out the microwave, uh, this is some uh, oak flooring uh, that was, the uh, house was being destroyed and, uh, and they had the roof off <laughs> and the walls, walls down and it was just a whole house of hardwood, uh, probably uh, 2,000 square feet. Um, and uh, I bought it from a guy on Craigslist who used most of it, but uh, I got quite a bit of it um, right there. It's all stacked up there. Um, so what I'm going to do is I've got I got my measurements. Uh, these these are oversized rough measurements. I need two pieces at 18 and two pieces at 24, and went ahead and cut two at 25. Well, I'm going to cut and um, two at 18, but I measured those as 20. So um, instead of working with this real long board, I'm going to go ahead and just cut it in half um, and then take off the end. And then uh, I'm going to get the uh, table saw and I'm going to cut off uh, this ridge here. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut off the, uh, what do they call it? Tongue and groove. I'm going to cut off both the tongue and the groove off of both sides with the table saw. Um, and then I got a thickness planer and I'm going to take the thickness down maybe half inch, maybe a little bit less. Uh, but anyway, so watch and, watch and see. Okay. Alright. Alright, that's good for that cut. Uh, now we'll go ahead and uh, rip the tongue and grooves off. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is set the saw uh, just to cut the uh, tongue off. Um, I'm just going to eye this up. I'm not measuring it. All right. I'm going to go ahead and set up my saw to take out the, uh, the groove. Again, I'm not measuring this uh, because I'll be cutting it further later. I just want to make sure I get it out. All right, I'll do a start cut, make sure that's starting to work. Pull it back. Okay. I'll get the thickness planer out and what I'm going to do is uh, pull these ridges off with a thickness planer and then kind of figure out what thickness I'm going to finally be. Okay, here's the planer. It's a Ryobi. Um, I think it's 12 inch. Um, I picked this up at the pawn shop. That was a hundred bucks, heck of a deal. Uh, I did have some nicks in the blades and I went and bought some more blades. Um, it's got a little storage utility here. There's, I got a, another, another set of blades too. Um, and these are to hold the dust collection unit. And I'm just not going to collect the dust. I'm just going to let it blow all over the place and I'll sweep it up. Um, but anyways, we'll get this set up. Uh, I mean, maybe you guys have used these, maybe they're not. This is a lock. This just locks it from uh, moving up and down. And here's the handle for changing the dimensions you got your indicator here your 
thickness indicator here. There's your handle that will raise and lower. And then your input feed table, your exit feed, and our exit table. And then uh, it's got rubber rollers that pulls it through. So uh, what we'll be doing is uh, getting our dimensions set up and we'll push this through and get these ridges off. Last time I checked there was a power switch on this thing somewhere. Ah, there it is. Well, there's the top. These are the bottoms. They've got the holes in them. And uh, so at this point, we're going to put uh, a decorative edge on one side and a slight little round over on the other side. Um, uh, I'm going to go in and take a look at the RV and uh, see what kind of uh, pattern I think I want to go with. And I think I am going to thin these out a little bit more, but I'm going to take a piece in there and just kind of see how thick it is. So. There's the bounder. Okay, so I ran across a little issue. I noticed that I um, can't really do this because I don't have enough hands. I left my tripod in. But I uh, can't really see here. But when I open the door, um, when I open the door, it swings out and it takes some space up. So, and then when I close it, you can see there's about a quarter inch gap. And I could fix this by pulling the microwave out further, but what I'm going to do is when I make the frame, I'm just gonna allow for that quarter inch over there. Um, and then also the other issue up here is there's a gap. And uh, so I've been asked if I can kind of make some kind of cubby to throw some stuff up in there. Just about, not all, not the full depth there, but eight to 10 inches deep. And uh, that cubby will be attached to the uh, back of the, uh, to the back of the frame here. So, um, so it won't be as easy just making a frame and screwing it up. Gus got to make a tray as well. All right, so back to the wood shop. So what I did was, is I went through the, uh, planer on the on the edges too. I stood the boards up and went this way on both sides a couple passes. And now I have this little jig set up with a table. I just got a uh, a board here and it's clamped and it's a little shy of the edge of the table there. And then I'm going to uh, this is the inside edge. Uh, this is where the nails went through to originally hold the flooring down. Uh, and I'm going to call that the inside edge on all of these and the outside edge do not have the nail holes. So I'm going to put a quarter round, just a slight one here uh, with the router and then I'll go with a, a, a decorative on the, the other okay, side. Now I'll put the edge on. Decorative edge. Right there. Plug the power in because I unplugged it being safe.
anything. The profile here. Okay, YouTube, thanks for watching. Uh, in the next video series, I'll cut the uh, angles, the 45s, and I'll, I'll glue and uh, uh, tech nail the frame together. Uh, so thanks for watching, and we'll see you uh, on the next video.